welcome back to Pray TV. So glad that you're here with us. We are here for one purpose, and that is to pray and to intercede and to hopefully bring a little encouragement in the hearts of other intercessors. My wife Charlotte is here with me today. Thank you, dear, for being here. As always, it's a joy to be here. We're just so grateful for all of you who are just partnering with us, praying together. There is just such a strength to our collective prayers, and we just are so grateful to you for your prayers along with ours. And we know that it is the collective prayers of the saints that are ascending up before the throne of God that is a part of what he uses. This is a great mystery. There is no real good intellectual reasonable understanding for this because God in his power can accomplish anything at any moment at any time. But he chooses to work with us. And I'm going to ask you who are desirous of being partners with us, and we are looking for partnership and partnering to be able to press that like button. And if you know others who you believe are called to be intercessors, that you just share this program with them as well so that they will be encouraged. And we believe that God is going to raise up a mighty, powerful army of men and women who are sincere and are praying literally around the world, across the globe. And we just are in amazement of how God is using us to be able to gather people. And we want to be able to see real breakthrough begin to happen. We're reading from today's scripture, Romans chapter 8, verses 24 and 25 from the New King James Version of the Bible, which says, For we were saved in this hope, but hope that is seen is not hope. For why does one still hope for what he sees? But if we hope for what we do not see, we eagerly wait for it with perseverance. I'm going to ask my wife Charlotte to bring our comment today. Charlotte, would you just share with the folk why this is meaningful to us? This verse really ties in with Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1 too, that faith is the substance or the evidence of things we hope for. And there is this link uh, between faith and hope. Hope teaches us to wait on God because as David encouraged us in the Old Testament time after time, he would say, my hope is in God. And today we just want to express that truly our hope has to be planted in God. It cannot be in other human beings. It cannot be in just our own personal dreams because God is really the author of hope. In the Bible, he's called the God of all hope. And so we just want to encourage you today to really lay hold of God. You do not hope in vain when you hope in God. And he will instill faith in you to believe that what he has promised will come to pass. Well, we just thank you, Charlotte, for sharing these thoughts. And again, I'm going to reread this portion of scripture and we prepare our hearts to be able to really intercede and to look to God. Again, Romans chapter eight, verses 24 and 25 in the New King James Version says, for we were saved in this hope, but hope that is seen is not hope. For why does one still hope for what he sees? But if we hope for what we do not see, we eagerly wait for it with perseverance. Charlotte, would you begin our prayer time? Thank you, dear. Lord, we thank you for faith today that comes from you. And that faith, Lord, inspires us to definitely put our hope and our trust in you. All of these things are so linked together, faith, hope, 
and the ability to persevere. Lord, we know that without hope, we just become adrift. We become hopeless. And Lord, we thank you that our hope is founded in you. You are that God of hope. You are that God as we trust in you and as we wait patiently for you. Lord, we see your promises come to pass and the things, Lord, that we have hoped for, we do not hope in vain. Our faith is not in vain, Lord. It is in you and we thank you, God. Even as Zacharias spoke, we are prisoners of hope. And he spoke about the restoration process, Lord, that you bring us through hoping in you. So I pray, God, that you will inspire your faith in everyone's heart today, that, Lord, we would examine where our hopes truly lie, that we make sure, God, that our hope is anchored in you today. And we know, God, that you are that God of hope that will make our faith come into substance and we will see the evidence, Lord, of both our faith and our hope in you. Father, we have our hope clearly squared on you. And Lord, we pray with these whom we are partnering with in prayer and intercession today that our hope is that you will manifest your glory in the earth. We know that you do it in and through humankind of whom we are a part and you are a part. And Lord, we ask that you would just come and visit each of us with a strengthening of our confidence in you. Lord, we recognize that when we have confidence in this flesh, it's destined to fail. But when we have confidence in you, you cannot fail. Lord, I was reminded today about how you worked through those two men, Joshua and Caleb, looking at the same circumstance as the other 10 spies when they saw the promised land. And 10 could not see how you could do the work but two saw how you would accomplish and how you could overcome the enemies and you could do mighty acts and mighty works. And Lord, I pray that you'll just hook us up with that kind of affirmation of what you have already declared. Lord, you said the earth is your footstool. This earth is a place where you could just rest your feet. Lord, it's, it's not hard for you. And this is the picture that you want for us to be able to possess. Father, I pray that you will enable us to be able to al align our souls and our hope in you. Lord, we praise you that you are going to do this for all of us as peoples because we need that kind of fervency of faith that is activated by having our hope in something that is trustworthy. And that's you, Lord. So we praise you for doing it. Amen and amen. Charlotte, I just thank you for being here with us today. It's my joy to be here. God bless you today. And we do look forward to being with you tomorrow. And again, do not hesitate to hit the like button or share this with others because there's many, many more of us that are out there that are prayer warriors that are seeking this sense of community. God bless you.